and cleave. What is this thing that you are serving God, you are not serving God anymore? What is this thing that you used to be in church, you are no more in church? What is this thing that you get offended? I don't understand it. What is this thing that after God has blessed you, we can't see you again? Where did this originate from? Where? No wonder even in homes and marriages today, people don't stay long. When they find the fault, when somebody chose to go another way, it leads to separation or divorce. Are you divorced from the love of God? Are you, what has been prepared for David? While he was singing, while he was worshipping, while he was legit, while he was genuine. I don't need to tell you whether David loved the Lord. Ah, a throne was prepared for him and he entered that throne. A man that God delivers Saul into his hand severally. He won't touch Saul because he feared God. He said, I can't touch God's anointing. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. A man that loved the Lord and defended Israel at the risk of his own life. He went after Goliath huh? to defend Israel. A man that loved the Lord. A man that he told his followers. He said, I want to drink water. That's first point of chapter 12. I need the waters of the air. And three men broke through the host of the Philistines to bring him water. And when David saw that water, he said, I can't drink this. I cannot. This is the blood of men. Nobody. See, these are things that God is looking at. He said, and he poured it as a drink offering to God. He said, because these men have, have they have jeopardized, they have hazarded their life just for my sake. This water is not water, it's their blood. I cannot drink it. Mm. Though he slay me, yet I will love him. What you think will make me back off is making me to love him more. Ah, today people hear things about you. They back off. Husband, back off. Wife, back off. Members, back off. Pastor, back off. Nobody can love you in your low estate. Nobody can condescend to the things of men, things that are low. Give it to me. Condescend to men when you come down to bring people up. Huh? You go down to bring people up. No, everybody wants to love you when things are good. They want to love you when things are wonderful. Be of the same mind one to another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Condescend. Give me another translation for that. Beautiful. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be hurry, but associate with the lowly. Associate with the lowly. Associate with the lowly. Associate with the lowly. You on your home. You talk to nobody. You don't fellowship with anybody because you say they are low. You are high. Come on, man. God who brings somebody up can bring the person down. God who brings somebody down can bring the person up. He said, live happily together in the spirit of harmony and be as mindful of another's worth as you are your own. Don't live with a lofty mindset thinking you are too important to serve others. Ah! God, be willing to do many a task. Identify with those who are humble minded. My God. He said, I love that first condition chapter 8, verse 3. He said, Anybody that loves me, I know him. I know those who don't love me. But if any man love God, Indonesia, Indo Indonesia, Malaysia, Afghanistan, Sudan, Suriname, my God. Cyprus, if someone loves God, then they are known by God. My God. And if you are known by God, what would God be saying about you? You can imagine God speaking about Abraham. Abraham has an estate, he has a person in heaven. David, God gave David a key, a master key that can open any doors. The key of David. When will you have your own key? David has a personal key to some rooms in heaven. Maybe to all rooms. He that had the key of David, that key can open anything that the enemy has shut down 
and what gives David access to the key is the love of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth may you begin to assess the key of David today loving God father we thank you once again in the name of the Lord Jesus thank you because you've brought us into this day the day that the Lord has made we rejoice and we're glad thank you for your word your Holy Spirit the blood of Jesus that has cleansed us from all sins that has made us to be of one family thank you for uh, the grace given unto me oh God again today to declare your word to your people for everyone that's watching I pass on the church family of God's Roman Assembly and also made them of the church Lord, we are very grateful. Thank you because no one to go all is well before the foundation of the world. You know today is going to happen. You are the one who made today. You are the one that we celebrate. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. I come in your name. Lord, I thank you. Because as I come, Jesus has come. Glory has come. Power has come. Open door, riches, wealth, breakthrough, anointing, healing, deliverances, opportunities. Life has come. Jesus is coming. It's coming. And it's coming. And Jesus you are coming very, very soon. You are coming with your glory, with your reward, with your vengeance, with your power, with your judgment, with your favor, with your mercy, with your abundance, with your love. Thank you for your presence that's here. Just take all the glory in our life. Lord, take all the honor. We appreciate you. We glorify you. We bless your name. Thank you because you are the glory of God. You are the light of the world. You are the prince of peace. You are the captain of our salvation. You are the lily of the valley. You are the bright and the morning star. You are the word of God. The Bible says all things were made by him. Without him was anything that, that was made. Without anything was anything made that was made. In him is life and the light is the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it. We serve a cannot comprehend God light. The light that men cannot comprehend. You are the son of righteousness with healing in his wings. You are our provider, our healer, our shelter, our leader, our coverer, our helper, our advocate, our inner strength, our wisdom, the holy wise God, the God that made us, the God that's watching over us, the God that's everywhere present, all powerful, all knowing, all loving, all merciful, ah, ever loving, always on time. Father, we thank you. We thank you if our words, our tongue like the sound of the city are not enough to praise you. You are the one that rides upon the wings of the wind. You are the one that said it. And do it. The talk and do God. No one can be like you. No one can be compared to you. You are God by yourself. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the God of Israel. The builder of the church, the owner of the church. Be thou exalted, be thou magnified, be thou glorified. For in Jesus' name we worship. Amen. Welcome everybody to yet another opportunity to be in God's presence today. Uh, on an iPad, Sony Church uh, platform. We thank God for what God is doing. Thank God for the testimonies. We've heard you're going to have another testimony today. And then um, uh, we're just blessed. We're just blessed. And our programs are there on announcement. It's going to be uh, 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 broadcasted to us. And then I want you to be a part of that. You're going to be blessed. Now, I want you to please uh, send in your comment. Thumbs up. I love this. I'm blessed. God is moving. The prayers and all that. You know, the key points. And also, make sure you also, uh, 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 you know, tell someone about what you are hearing here. And just be a blessing. You know, be a blessing. Invite somebody. Subscribe. Subscribe to this. And watch God decorate your life. Why? You are disseminating God's love. Especially this month. And in the name of Jesus, as you do so, your fingers will not be crippled in the name of Jesus. Everything that has been shut down in your life shall suddenly open. You will experience favor, joy, peace, ability, and the glory of God shall overshadow you. Now, I'd like you to be an instrument of peace, instrument that God is using to broadcast peace, to broadcast change to someone. It's very, very important. Follow us on all of our social media platforms uh, platform and follow us follow us follow us. sign up sign up subscribe and watch what god will do in your life in jesus name become an agent of change agent of change agent of glory agent of favor in jesus name we're gonna have gr mission squared coming up don't forget
Don't forget. I love what First John chapter 3 verse 17 says. He said, but whoso at these words good, my God, you have this good and see it on this platform, whether GRA, Central, or Hypersonic Church, GRA Mission Square, or FDSA. You see your brother have need you are going to give me another translation and shut it up his bowels of compassion from him. How dwell it the love of God in him? That's what we're talking about. See, saying you love God, he's saying God is saying it's a waste of time. But if anyone has the words goods and sees his brother in need, I mean, you are watching this, yet closes his heart against him. How does God's love abide? In him. TPTs. If anyone sees a fellow believer in need and has the means to help him, yet shows no pity. A fellow believer. We are showing your fellow believers now. In need. And has the means to help him. Yet shows no pity and closes his heart against him. How is it even possible that God's love lives in him? I don't know what lives in that person. Maybe it's hatred, or maybe it's death, maybe it's evil, maybe it's demon. We don't know. It didn't stay that. God is just saying it's not possible that such people have the love of God. May the love of God encapsulate all of us today in Jesus' name. I can't wait for the word. God has something to share with us today. May you be blessed, strengthened, and may there be healing, miracles, signs, wonders, deliverance, lifting, promotion, abundance. You are in the car listening to me right now. In the name of Jesus, before you get to your destination, you hear good news. If somebody listening to me right now, you are afraid. What are you afraid of? You are afraid that you might be fired. Why? Because you are tardy. It's not good to be tardy. But hear me, it shall be well. By the time you get to walk, you'll be embraced. Promotion is waiting. Lifting is waiting. Now, there's somebody hearing me today. You've never been celebrating the last three, four years. It's just among the same old people. God asked me to tell you, this season of your life, on or your birthday or immediately after your birthday, wait, a celebration is coming. You've been doing it for other people. You'd celebrate other people, but you are next online. Receive it in Jesus' name. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Quinette, and I'm just here to testify of God's faithfulness in my life. Um, I first want to thank God for all that he is doing, for who he is, who he is in my life and my family. Um, I want to thank God for my father and my mother in the Lord. Um, I want to just give God praise. Um, this testimony is just mind blowing. Um, I want to thank God because last year, 2022, um, I was pregnant with my son and um, I had a very, you know, great pregnancy. You know, thank God, no complications or anything like that, just in regards to the pregnancy. But um, I remember like around month six or seven, I had, um, you know, went to the doctors and, uh, you know, had like a, you know, routine checkup for the pregnancy and they noticed that something was wrong with his kidney. Um, I, I, one of the kidneys, there, there was something wrong that was causing him um, to pee out, but then some of the pee would go back inside. So they diagnosed my baby while in the womb um, with a urinary reflux. And they were saying that, you know, while he was in the womb, it was fine because, you know, in the womb, everything is sterile. So it's, you know, it's okay, but it would be a problem once um, he was born. And, um, you know, they said that when he, when he is born, you know, if he continues to have that issue, if it doesn't correct itself, that when he's born, um, they would basically have to kind of like take him right away and like give him antibiotics, um, that he would have to have a pediatric urologist. He would have to like have a, you know, have a team of specialists, um, you know, that would um, just be in, in their care. Um, and obviously, you know, this is my first pregnancy. So I was just like, it was just not the news that you want to hear as a first time. Any, any, whether you're first time, second time, tenth time parent, you don't want to hear that something may be wrong with your child. Um, so I really took it to the Lord in prayer. I, I, you know, spoke to my parents in the Lord. I spoke to them, and one of the the the, the most profound thing that they said, number one, was that this is a lie. This diagnosis is a lie. It's not. 
<laughs> this diagnosis is it's not it's not the truth it's not true you know and you know we just really um, went in prayer we regarding this diagnosis um, I even like had my ultrasound and we would just pray over that ultrasound picture um, every week um, leading up to the time I gave birth and just decreeing that you know God's word will prevail you know just decreeing perfect health perfect um, you know organ function everything and so when I gave birth you know they, he had to go for his routine you know testings and things like that and um, you know when I think about this I always like get a little choked up but um, I remember when they came back from the testing the pediatrician came into my room and she, he was just like, you know, everything is perfect. Everything is fine. You know, we can't. And I started and I was like, what do you mean everything is fine? You know, they, they were telling me that this thing was going on and with his kidneys and stuff. And he was like, no, everything is perfect. All his function, all his functions are perfectly fine. Like they did a, they had to do an ultrasound on him after, you know, when he came out and everything and everything was literally perfect and he was like so healthy all the doctors were still was so astonished at how healthy he was and I'm just giving glory to God for like just canceling that diagnosis you know we always talk about the power of of of, of the blood of Jesus and um, you know the power of Holy Communion you know which is a, a something I highly you know highly believe in especially during my pregnancy you know the power of taking Holy Communion you know believing that because of the flesh and the blood of Jesus, you know, it, it removes sickness, removes disease and things like that. And it went down to my baby and corrected anything, you know, corrected all the things that may have been wrong. So I just really just give God all the praise and all the glory um, for my beautiful, beautiful, healthy baby boy that, you know, there was no kidney issues. There was no urinary issues. I didn't have to go to a, you know, any specialist or anything like that. He's perfectly healthy, perfectly fine. And so I'm just so, so thankful for all that he's done in my life.
Yeah, sweet in me, butterflies in my tummy. Love unconditional, now what I'm feeling. Everything working for my good, no more dolly. The greater one lives in me, no be dummy. Wala for no get Jesus. 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 Blessings that carry me, my blessings that carry me, no wish you can. Married to Jesus, I'm married to Jesus, no Ruka. Kinging like Davidi, I'm kinging like Davidi, I wear the crown, I'm mad over you, I'm mad over you, you got me running the town. Light of the world, full current way down the top. And when I walk out for street style innovation, even enemies they climb. Okay, Bella sweet in me, but that flies in my tummy. Love on condition. Now nah, what I'm feeling Everything working for my good No more dolly The greater one lives in me No be dummy Wall of oh no get Jesus 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 Mercies like GPS locates From darkness to light I migrate First fly gang with the updates Trumpet sound no more translate Oh my god, oh my god See my pocket See my pocket Only Jesus need who I am no more bondage Wala for no get Jesus 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 Jesus, one love for no get get Father, we thank you here we are again in your name, by your power. We need you. Holy Spirit, we are zero without you. So we need you. We need your outpouring, the outpouring of your grace. And we receive your breath, fresh breath, fresh oil right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. Part three. Yes, Lord. Not no, Lord. Some people need to say no. Or I'm thinking about it. Or I'll get back to you. Lord, I'll get back to you. No? Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. There are people in scripture that Bible says they are greatly beloved. Only one man in the Bible received that title. And it's a type of Jesus. Daniel chapter 9 verse 23. Daniel chapter 9 verse 23. Greatly beloved. Why? Because of their love for God. At the beginning of thy supplication, the commandment came forth, and I'm come to show thee, for thou art greatly. You are greatly beloved. Therefore, understand the matter and consider the vision. Mm. In Judges chapter 10, verses 11 and 19, look at what it says. Greatly beloved. They are not only beloved, they are greatly beloved. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, he put his name there. He's not a God. He's not an angel. A man. Can we find such men on this planet? A man that is greatly loved. Understand the words that I speak. Look at verse 19. Madeloma gladova ladis. Ladalama kadidolama. Ratuzi lankofa danlimo. You must have a vision. You must have a goal. You must have where you are going. This is where I'm going. This is where I'm going. I want to be referred to this. Jesus, in all of my life, in all of my passion, and said, oh man, greatly beloved, fear not. Peace be unto thee. Anyone that God is taking you to a greatly beloved level, 
Peace be unto you. Be strong. Yea, be strong. Be strong. Yea, be strong. And when he has spoken unto me, as you are hearing me now, be strengthened. Be strengthened. Be strengthened spiritually, physically, financially, solically, maritally, in every areas of life. Let the Lord speak for Thou hast strengthened me. That will be your strength, testimony. God will strengthen you. He will strengthen you in your weaknesses. He will strengthen your spirit, your soul, your body, your life, your destiny. My God will strengthen you. Financially, you will be strong in the name of Jesus. Guess what? Ephesians chapter 1 verse 6. We can all love God. You know why? We have been accepted in the beloved. We can all love God to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he had made us accepted in the beloved. Say, okay, I give you admission, but that does not mean you graduate. <laughs> uh, don't junk God's love. Don't junk it. Huh? John chapter 12, verse 29. The voice of the Lord coming to his beloved. Look at it. The voice of Jesus. The voice came, number one, now, Jesus had three audible voices. Uh, number one, he had it at the baptism. Number two, he had it. So, water baptism is important. Water baptism is very, very important for those who are not water baptized. He sealed the love of God in you. It's, it's a seal of your salvation. And so, he had a voice at the baptism. He also had the voice in the place of prayer. In, month, in the mountain of transfiguration. That's why we have Meramofu Church. Then he had the voice here where the people stand. When he was talking to people, when he was declaring that, except the corn of wheat fall to the ground and, and, and die, he abided alone. Now, when he has said that, he said, now is the time for the Son of God to be glorified. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit fast. Now, the people, therefore, that stood by. Now, look at what happened in verse 28. I have glorified it. I will, glor I will glorify it again. God says, I have glorified it. God will glorify you and God will glorify you again. God will glorify you. God will glorify you again. Because of Jesus who lives in you, God will glorify you and they will do it again. In the name of Jesus. Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven. The third time. Anytime you live a life that glorifies God, which is the time of love, God will glorify himself in your life. Then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and I will glorify it again. So you don't go from glory to shame. You don't go from, 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 from money to lack. You don't go from light to darkness. He said we have passed from light from darkness to light, we have passed from darkness unto light. For we have passed, we have moved from light to darkness. And God says, the rod of the wicked will not rest upon the righteous. Lest the righteous put forth their hand unto iniquity. He said, evil we bow before God, so is the wicked as the gate of righteous. What is all this telling us? He said, when you start your walk of love with God, you are bound to go forward. Fourth scripture, the path of the just, shine more and more unto a perfect day. Fifth scripture, the Lord shall increase you more and more. Ye and your children. Come on. You don't reduce eh, that you may learn the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. What is the breath and length and depth and height? To know the love of Christ. So, you don't retard when you are walking in love. Have you forgotten? Love never fails. A never fail power is given to you right now in the name of Jesus. That is why the proof of our love is very important. Remember in James chapter 1 verse 27, pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless. Let us give God pure religion. Can, can, can we give God pure religion? To visit the fatherless. Jeremy Mission Square. If they say, and widows in the affliction, and to keep yourself unspotted with the world. As you are doing that, you are keeping yourself unspotted with the things of this world. With self. You don't let self take over your life. First John chapter 4 verse 26. If a man say, I love God. I'm just giving you this greatly beloved. Because you have to go from beloved to being greatly beloved. You know, look at what it says. If a man say, I love God, and hated his brother, is a liar. He's a liar. You can't hate me and say you love God. You are lying. You are lying. I can't hate you and I say I love God. I'm lying. I mean, you can't hate your brother. Come on, man. Hey! 
He's a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he had seen. How can he love God whom he had not seen? He that does not honor his spiritual father that he had seen. How can he honor God, his heavenly father, whom he had not seen? Or physical parent, whatever you want to put there. Yes. He said, if Jesus come, I will give Jesus the best. Jesus said, I've come as a poor person. You didn't give me anything. I came as, 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 as naked. You didn't clothe me. I came as hungry. Matthew 25. You did not give me food. Verse 38, 34. I came as somebody in prison. You didn't set me free. I came as somebody that, that's thirsty, that is sick. You do nothing to me. Now, you are now saying, when was it that you came and we didn't do this to you? He said, in as much as you have done this to the least of my brethren. So if you want to do anything for Jesus as I'm talking now, go and look for the least of his brethren. Who are the least of his brethren? The GRE Mission Squad family. You just finished watching the video to shut down. The powers of your compassion. Have you forgotten? First John chapter 3 verse 17. Hey. Don't shut it down. Don't shut it down. But whosoever asks this was good. Give me another translation please. And sees his brother as need. Ah. You can even stand it. You can be eating dinner. When somebody has not eaten in two days. My God. You are wasting garments when people are not clothed. You are sleeping fine when somebody has no place to put their head on their roof. To, to, they have no roof to put their head. My goodness. My goodness. Somebody in the hospital, all they need is money for a surgery in the developing nation, in the majority world. And you know them and you can reach out to them. You are watching all these children who needs to go to school, who needs to do something, and you do not respond to them. And you say you have God. You are worshiping. You are singing. You are dancing. You are rejoicing. You are jumping. You are feasting. You are dinnering. If there is anything called dinnering or banqueting. Ah. If anyone sees a fellow believer in need and has the means to help them, it might not even be physical need. It might be spiritual need. Yet, shows no pity. It might be visit. Go with us to the nations. Let's go to Asia together. Let's go to the Middle East together. Let's go to North Africa together. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to help them. To give them the gospel. He said the gospel has been preached to the poor. Yet shows no pity. And closes his heart against him. How is it even possible that God loves, lives in him? Such people, it's not the love of God living in them. According to scripture, it might be hate, it might be demons, it might be evil spirit, it might be self. Man, you know what God says he will do to those people on the left side? He said, I will say, get out, get away from me. You wicked and evil people, go into hell that was prepared. I'd like you to give me that translation, give me the other time. You know, 46, it was prepared for the devil and his angels. You're not responding to what God put around you. Then these evil people. Now, note, God caused these people. The thing they did that made them evil was that they shut up the bowels of their compassion. And you know what God says? They were evil people. Watching this every Sundays. Expecting somebody to start raising an offering. No way. Then, these evil people will go away to be punished forever. Thank you. Then the king will say to the evil people on the left, on his left, get away from me. Ah, in the name of Jesus, all your prayers, all your fasting, will not receive a get away from me answer. In the name of Jesus, my God, God has already decided that you will be punished. My God, Jerry Woodwide, listen to God. Go into the fire. That will not be our portion. That will not be our portion. In the name of Jesus. That will never, 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 never be our portion. So we are going to begin to respond to the needs of the nations. Go into the fire that burns forever. The fire that was prepared 
for the devil and his angels. It was not made for man. Man make his choice to go there. Oh, this is so touching. This is so touching. Look at the new commandment that Jesus gave us. John chapter 13 verse 34 and 35. A new commandment I gave unto you. That ye love one another as I have loved you. You know, it has been upgraded. He knows some people, they don't love themselves. He said, love your neighbor as yourself. He said, no more. Love one another as I have loved you. That ye also love another. Now, why? Because this is how people will know that you are children of God. Verse 35. The only authentic way in which people will know you are a child of God is by this love that we have for one another. Now you don't love me. I don't love you. How would the people know that we are, you're this, we are Jesus' disciple? That's why the world is confused. Christians fighting. Pastors fighting. This one saying, don't go there. That one saying, don't go there. Come on, man. Come on, man. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if ye have love. For one another, especially when you love the unlovables. Hmm. It's easy to love those who love you. Can you love those who doesn't love you? There is a disciple that Jesus loves. John 13, 23. Lord, I give you praise. I said, there is a disciple that received a title of greatly beloved. There is also a disciple that Jesus loved. Now, there was leaning on Jesus' bosom. Where are you leaning today? Lean, 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 lean. Lean on the everlasting arms. Leaning on Jesus' bosom. Where are you leaning? One of the, his disciples. Whom Jesus loved. Question. What about others? He loved them. Oh, Jesus. I love it. Look at the picture. Like a baby. The man is acting like a baby. John. Apostle, he just loved Jesus. Too attached. Too attached. Cleaved to Jesus. My God. I'm in love with you. <laughs> now that's me. And interestingly, that's my, that's my baptismal name. John the Beloved. I'm not talking about John the Baptist. God bless everyone whose name is called John the Baptist. But my own is John the Beloved. Look at it. John chapter 20, 2 and 4. John chapter 20. The disciple that Jesus loves. Don't you like that? Then she run it. You know, and now look at it. Look at it. And come to Simon Peter and to other disciples. Look at the title they gave him. Who Jesus loved. Do you see the title? Everybody knows. This year, Malotila Gambo Dabira Donta. For me, my wife, my children, and the one person that is hearing me. Everybody in the world we know that Jesus loves you. And they will be titling you. They will give you the title. That man, that tire, that Ateolua is a disciple of Jesus' love. Receive it in Jesus' name. Whom Jesus loved. Don't you like that? Whom Jesus loved. He mentioned Simon Peter. He did not mention John. He said he's the one whom Jesus loved. And Simon... And, and John, John, John said, guys, you are confused about the one who Jesus loved. I will tell you. Look at verse 4. <laughs> By the time you get to verse 8. Now, so they ran, to, they, ran, they ran both together and the other disciple did outrun. Did you see the one that he loves? The zeal of God make him to run. He gave more than natural. Others are giving 20. He gave 80. Others are going one mile. He went four miles. Others are giving two clothes. He gave 10 clothes. It's a sign. It's a proof that I'm the one that he loves. He outran Peter. Verse 8. Look at verse 8. Then went in also that other disciple which first, which came first to the sepulchre and he saw and believed. I think, let's look at verse 18. Oh my goodness, look at it. Verse 18. Look at it. John had to, uh, look at it. Hmm. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken this it unto her. Can you give me the last verse or the penultimate verse? Because John introduced himself. I said, guys, maybe uh, 22, 24 or something, but I don't want to read all of that. All right, thank you. Now, give me um, 29. Yes. Yes, okay. Verse 30 then. 
Verse 30. Verse 30. Look at it. Verse 30. John and many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in the one which is written. Um, but these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. Now, I look for that later. You know, he was introduced in verse 20 to 24, you know, but we don't, we don't have time to read that. 20 to 24. Yes, it's 24. 24, please. Let's just touch it a little bit. <laughs> oh, God Almighty. Look at it. He said it. He said, guys, don't be confused. Everybody has been talking about me. Let me, let me tell you who I am. Verse, chapter 21, verse 24. 21, 24. Look at it. I will tell you about myself. You don't know me, but I'll tell you about myself. <laughs> oh, God Almighty. This is the disciple which testified of these things and wrote these things and we know that this testimony is true. How do we know that? Do you ever find in the gospel any place where Nicodemus and Jesus was mentioned? Who wrote about it? The disciples whom he loved. Over the discussion of Jesus with the woman at the well. The disciple whom he loved. Huh? What about the woman that was brought, that was caught in adultery? That Jesus bent down to. And Jesus forgave him because he loved. He loved the world. That is the only disciple. Who wrote about for God so loved the world that he gave him if his only begotten son. The disciple. When you read a whole thoughts about what John wrote, you will see that John's writing was kind of different. It's a love writing. Some of the discussion that Jesus had personally with people, John was not there, but John wrote it down. That means Jesus spent time telling John some certain things. John was asking, I, I, I see you and Nicodemus. What were you discussing? You sent us to go and buy meat. Who were you talking to the woman? What was it you were talking to the woman? Ah, my goodness. My goodness. What were you writing down? I see you bending down. When they brought that woman to be stoned, was there anything going on? Hmm. Whom the Lord loves, he chastises. Hebrews 12, 6. If, God, if you don't receive chastisement from God anymore, Ah, something is wrong. For whom the Lord loveth, he chastised, he chastened, and scourged every son that he received. We saw that also in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 12. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 12. Don't let's forget, please, what 1 Corinthians 16, 22 says. 1 Corinthians 16, 22. I don't want us to forget. Please, let's refresh our memory. Look at what it says. I pray that God will put a curse on everyone who doesn't love the Lord. And may the Lord come soon. Mm. It's already said. May every curse over everyone, may he be broken in the name of Jesus. Ah, no one, after hearing this message, you will never be a curse carrier in the name of Jesus. Ah, it's important. It's important. Anyone who doesn't love the Lord, it's cursed. You can see from the life of this woman. I think I saw that kind of thing from the flyer. Mark chapter 10, 27 to 31. My goodness. What a, what a picture. What a picture. Mark chapter 10. Look at it, 27. And Jesus, looking upon them, said, With men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. Now verse 28. Hmm. Then Peter, now look at it. I'm sorry, that's not the same story. Then Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all. I'm talking about lovers of God. We have left all to follow you. Wow. What is it that will happen? Look at it. Very lesson unto you. There is no man that has left house, brethren, sisters, father, mother. Now, these are the things we are looking for. We are looking for house, houses. We need brethren. We want connection. We want our family. We need our sisters. We need our father. We need our mother. We need our wife. We need our husband. We need our children. 
We need lands. God says, if you leave it. For my sake and the gospel. See, but we, we don't want to leave it. We want to keep them. And we want to forsake the gospel. Hey, I think somebody has brainwashed us. Huh? We are going to read this and preach it. We don't do it. Look at verse 30. How we gain them back. We live to gain. Huh? We cleave to lose them. Huh? But he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time. Look at how God will give you houses. Because of you have left it. How God will give you brethren, sisters, mothers, children, lands. But this one will come with persecutions. In the world to come into eternal life. Now he said, he that loveth his life shall lose it. One of the cheap ways for you to lose your life is to love your life. You lose your life by loving your life. Oh my God. You will not lose your life. Now, John chapter 12, verse 25. John 12, 25. He said, he said, he that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hated his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. I'd like you to meditate on that. Because of our time, I'm not going to dwell too much on that. But meditate on that. Now, one of our core proof of love, if you say you love God, is obedience to his word. Obedience. John 14, 21. John 14, 21. Mm. Look at it. He that at my commandment are keeping them. He it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father. And I will love him. And I will manifest myself to him. This month God will manifest himself to you. In your finances, in your job, in everything you do. My God will manifest himself to you. You are not saying amen where you are. My God will manifest himself to you. My God will manifest himself to you. In the name of Jesus. Hmm. I want us to look at the proof of our love. Or oh, let's start with first the power of love. The power of love. Romans chapter 13 verse 8. Romans chapter 13. There is power inside love. There is healing power, miracle power. It's a, oh, no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth Another had fulfilled the law. One power of love is ability to keep God's commandments. All the fulfillment. You know, there are requirements you need to fulfill in college before you can graduate. So, <laughs> this is not beautiful. This one single requirement is what you need to graduate into greatness. Huh? <laughs> before I explain this. Don't forget, if you love, you fulfill the law. Now, look at verse 10. And if you fulfill the law, expect the blessing of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 to 13. Love walketh no ill to his labor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Do you have another translation? Love is the fulfilling of the law. That's number one. I'm talking about power of love. Love is the fulfilling of the law. Love makes it impossible to harm another. So love fulfills all that the law requires. Now, what does that mean? That means Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 1 to 13 blessing. We come to you. Why? Because you have fulfilled the law by loving. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all fulfilling of the law. All. All. All his commandments which are commanded this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. It's never too late for me, it's never too late for you. In the name of Jesus, Almighty God will set us above, I above all the nations of the earth because of this love that is burning in our heart. In the name of Jesus, you know, when you have the love of God, the fire cannot quench it. Songs of Solomon, chapter 8, starting to read from verse 6 burning unquenchable fire set me as a seal upon thy heart as a seal upon thy arm mm. 
for love is strong as death. Daniel, Ananiah, Mishael, Azariah, Job, Paul. Hey! Jealousy is cruel as the grave. You are jealous for God. Mm. 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 Joshua said, I'm jealous for Moses. Nobody should prophesy. Eldad, Meldad. Stop! Eh? Moses said, you are jealous for me. Phineas was jealous for God. He took a javelin to smite that Moabitish woman and that Israelite. He struck them. We! To the ground. Why they were lying with each other. And the anger and the wrath of God against Israel stopped. Huh? He has the zeal of God. He said, Phineas has made me. He has, he has torn away my wrath. While you are praying, he executed judgment. Jealousy is cruel as the grave. The cause thereof are the cause of fire, which has a most vehement flame. Verse 7, my goodness. I pray somebody gets something here, man. Jesus. Many waters cannot quench love. Noah. The flood of Noah. Noah loved the Lord. The flood cannot quench his boat. Saul or Paul. In Acts chapter 27. He was shipwrecked. But he saved everybody in the boat. Why? Love. Then I can floods drown it. Hmm? Jonah with all his idiosyncrasies and eccentricities. God says, I'm going to handle you. Huh? You will get to where I sent you to, Jonah. I am God. You cannot tell me you are not going. <laughs> hey, before you go, I will hide you somewhere. He put him inside the fish belly. Anybody here today, in the belly of the whale, you are coming out. In the name of Jesus, by the love of God. If a man will give all the substance of his house for love, it will orderly be contempt. Now, listen, you are struggling with God. Somebody, you are watching me. You've been struggling with God. You don't want to do what God says you should do. You are looking for money. God says I should tell you. You can't make it up until you bow your knees and do what God created you to do. God said I should tell you. There's no way for you. I just pray today you will respond to the love of God and you make a difference in the name of Jesus. It's just like Noah trying to go another direction. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, Jesus. So, number one, the power of love. Love is the fulfillment of law. Now, number two, when love is fulfilled, all the blessings of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 to 13 will be ours. Number three, every true lover of God, you are a, a wonder to the world. You are literally a wonder. To our world. A wonder. A trailblazer. You are going to do something great in life. All of us will do something great in life. Ah, you watch David. He built, he built, he, he laid, he laid, the, he, he killed Goliath. Huh? He killed the lion. He killed the bear. Hmm? Come on, man. He bought the land where the, the, the temple of God was built. Huh? Look at Abraham. All of them, they were men and women of exploit. They were men and women of exploit. Oh, Jesus. Solomon, the lover, became the greatest king on the earth. Nobody can match up with him. First Kings chapter 4, 29 to 34. My goodness. When he loved the Lord. Maladilo, Fradaliga, Dolomala, Lenonida, Lantolo, Mangladis. And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much. Why? Solomon loved the Lord. First Kings chapter 3, verse 3. God gave. I've told you, God gave. Solomon loved the Lord. So when you love the Lord, God will give. So you are begging for the things that God has prepared for you. And your begging is a sign that you don't love God. Why are you begging for what God made for you? Why are you begging for what God has created for you? Why can't you love God and take it? Ah, take it, 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 my love. Solomon loved the Lord. God gave. Verse 29, chapter 4. Solomon loved the Lord, God gave. 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 Solomon loved the Lord, and God gave Solomon wisdom. And I've told you, with wisdom, there will be long life. 
with wisdom. There will be riches, there will be wealth. Wisdom and understanding, exceeding much and largeness of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. What happened in verse 30? Beautiful. And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the east country and all the wisdom of Egypt. Wow, Egypt cannot catch up to him. All those pyramids that Egypt were building, Solomon can build more. For he was wiser than all men. The Bible says all men, all men. Grace for you to experience, myself, my wife, my children, one person here, to experience the wisdom that surpasses all men, including FBI, all men. We receive it now in the name of Jesus. He was wiser than Ethan. All the doctors, you are wiser. All the IT, you are wiser. All the metaverse. I'm telling you this. Wiser than Ethan, the Ezraite. You have not tapped into the depth of God's love. The length, the, length, the breadth, the depth, the height. To know the love of God which passed knowledge. Ethan, the Ezraite. And Iman, and Chakor, and Dada, and the sons of Mahor. And his fame was in all ran about just because he loved the Lord. He spake 3,000 proverbs. The one you are reading is not enough. Solomon, if he was selling music, the money we make, his songs were a thousand and five. I pray to God and I, I, I pray to God by his mercy and grace to beat his record in my singing. The song, I'm not going to wait for anybody. I've been waiting for folk. No more waiting. A song, the song that was recorded, he sang songs a thousand and five, which means those who sing hmm, because they love God, not because they are singing, but because they love God and there are proofs of their love. Ah, they are walking in the shoes and the footsteps of Solomon. Thank you, Lord. Not singing for money, not singing for notoriety. Number five, love is a failure proof law. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. Love never fails. A failure proves love. You can never fail. You will not have organ failure. He said, when my heart and my flesh fails, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Now, don't give me charity. Give me, look for love for me. Maybe an IV. Love never fails. Even in a GRA, a central. Thank you. Love never. Love never. Love never. Love never. Love never. Psalm 73. My heart and my flesh, they fail. Now listen to me. Now listen. The enemy wants you to experience organ failure, kidney failure, liver failure, heart failure. I prophesy over your life. Nothing fails in our destiny in the name of Jesus. Money will not fail. He said money fail it in Egypt. You have to give me King James, King James Version here. My heart grows faint. My heart, my flesh, money fail it. Now that's the second scripture. I don't want to forget all that. Man. Look at that. And when money failed, but love never failed. You know when money failed, Joseph was catching their money. He was putting their money in their pockets. He said, I'll give you food. Oh yeah, sell everything you have. Give me the money. When money fails. Art can fail. Look at it. Psalm 73. Your heart can fail. Art failure. Art failure. No, 73. Art failure. When my heart, my heart and my flesh fail, but God is the strength of my heart. My heart and my flesh. You see, when God, maybe some of the something just help me look for you know 60, whatever it is. You know, when God begin to be the strength of look at it, my flesh. When your flesh fails, you have disease, you have sickness, and the doctor say, I mean, you have heart failure, paralysis, cardiovascular disease out of your body now in the name of Jesus. My flesh and my heart fails. Money. Fails. And other people also fail. He said, faith fail. Well, he said, I pray for you that your faith fail not. Your faith can fail. When your faith fails, then you are zero. There's no more faith in you. Then you have to sink. So, I mean, I've prayed for thee that thy faith fail. There are things that the enemy wants to fail in your life. I want to prophesy over your destiny. Your love will not fail. Love of God will uphold you. He will uphold me, my wife, my children. The love of God will uphold you in the name of Jesus. Your amen will not fail. Your hallelujah will not fail. Your destiny will not fail. Your marriage will not fail. GRA will not fail. Your calling will not fail. Your businesses Money will not fail in your life. In the name of Jesus. That thy faith fail not. That thy faith fail not. Thy faith fail not. I have prayed for thee. Thy faith fail not. 
So love never fails. When you hook up to love, you become some, someone that never experienced failure. Let's take note of that. My goodness. Love, number six, is engender supernatural breakthrough. You just begin to experience breakthrough. I don't know how to explain that because of time. Break, I know how to explain because of time. Breakthrough upon breakthrough. Breakthrough upon breakthrough. Daniel's breakthrough. Mordecai breakthrough. Esther breakthrough. Ruth breakthrough. Noah breakthrough. 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 How can Noah build an ark and there was no leak? That's a breakthrough. What technology does he use? The flood that destroyed the whole world lifted Noah. What technology on heart? Look at that. That you can bring two animals that used to kill each other. A galino tamfladilo. How can you keep two lions and sheep? Lion and lioness and sheep together. Look at that picture. What technology does this man have? Like in the days of Noah, God is going to pour his wisdom upon his children in these last days. I gadilo mala. I see power flowing into someone now. I see anointing oh, bursting into somebody right now. I see the wisdom of God being poured on someone right now. In the realm of the spirit, I see the angel of God opening the door for someone right now. I see ancient doors shut against someone right now. Open by fire right now in the name of Jesus. The outpouring of the Spirit is upon his children right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory be to God. Mm. When we love God, it makes us a true lover. A true indestructible lover of God. First John chapter 4 verse 4. You can't be destroyed. You can't be destroyed. Oh my God, my time. You can't be destroyed. Ye are of God, little children. And you overcome the wicked one. Because greater is love that is in you. Than the hate that is in the world. If somebody hates you, it's a sign that they don't have the love of God in them. Oh, they do not. Oh, they do not. You hate sin, you love righteousness. Oh my God, greater is he that is in you. Greater is love. Love. He said, he said, he said, overcome good, overcome evil with good. You are an overcomer. Hmm? Love eats up hatred. You read. Verse 16, 1 John chapter 4, verse 16. Malati Ravonda Galaba. Now I love it. Romans 20, 12, 20, 21. Give me that one verse. Omala Gadilo Magarabas. Entolo Marabas. He said, And ye have known and believed the love that God had to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love, dwelleth in God and God in him. Is that not beautiful? Glory be to God. Mm. Then also, um, love. Is our spiritual catalyst that empowers scripture to deliver. Huh? Matthew chapter 22, 36 to 40. Hear, O Israel. Everything delivers. When you, are, when you operate in love, you can see that also in, a, a, in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 2. Everything delivers. Everything. Every of God's blessing. Why? Because you are a doer of the law by loving. If I have the gift of prophecy and I can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge and if I, and if I have a faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I'm nothing. So, but if you have love, you are something. You are something. Ah! If you have love, you are something. No love, nothing. Love of God, something. Adolama, God will do something. God go do something in your life. God go do something. God go do something. Oh, God go do something great. God go do something marvelous. God go do something triumphant. God go do something that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Why? Because you love God. How many minutes do I have? Thank you, Jesus. Maruti, my God. Oh, oh, Jesus. Those who truly love God, they love people. I think we're there with that. They will love people. If you love God, you will love to help people. GRM Mission Square and all of that. I mean, FDSF, my God. If you don't know it, go to FDSF.org. Go to GRM Mission Square.global. FDSF.org. Put it up for me, please. The, the website. Somebody needs to catch it. And GRM Mission Square.global. Go there. Do something. So you can be something. You can be somebody in life. 
help people. You don't have to know them. You don't have to know them. Let the spirit of God constrain you. Let love, the love of God constrain at us. Huh? Don't you like that? Don't you like that scripture? The love of God constrain at us. The love of God. I plan to use it to buy these. It's my tax returns. It's my these. I want to do this, but the love of God constrain at me. My goodness. For the love of Christ constrain at us. Now, I need another translation. 7 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 14. Maloni magambas. Meluma galabas. Eluma lagalabas. Entolu baragadas. Look at another translation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ah, thank you, Lord Jesus. Those are hopeless. Another translation, if you have it. Love of God, constrain us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our praise. He said, the love of Christ controls us. My God. Because we have concluded this. Another translation. He controls. He compels. For it is Christ's love that fuels. I love that one. He fuels our passion. Our motivator. I don't want to do it. I'm tired. I'm weak. I'm discouraged. I have an appointment. My schedule is not correct. But Christ's love. I said I'm going to close at two. Hey, now it's nine. Why? Why? If you don't have the love of God in you, you cannot make it in these last days. For Matthew chapter 24 verse 12 will be the order of the day for a lot of people. Because iniquity shall abound. The love of many for God shall was cold. Look at that. Thank you for that. And because wickedness like in the days of Noah will be multiplied, most men's love will grow cold. As your love grown cold. I'm, I'm ending. Mm. Paul, a tireless lover. You know what it says in Philippians chapter 1 verse 21? Mm? And somebody, they stoned and he came back up. Thank you. Jerry Mission Square, that's it. Go there. Do something about it. Do something about that. Just go there. Just go there. This is not enough. Enough, enough is, you don't even know the site. You are watching every day. You are army and you do nothing. FDSF. FDSF. Even the children are involved. Do something with your life and stop all this independent spirit. Let's come together. Let's rally together. Ah, get something done. And watch God move on your behalf. Watch God do something for you. Let your name be written in the book of life. Change level. It's time for you to change level. Change level. Ch don't let anybody push you, anybody talk you into it. Now, let the love of God fires you up. Don't you like that? Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14. The love of God constrains it. I love that TPT. Let it fuel you. Let it boil in you. Ziloman Prevoda. It is Christ's love that fuels. It's like gasoline. It fuels our passion. And motivate us. You want to apply for some certain things, they will say, what, 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 what is your, they will say, write a motivational letter. Mm. God is telling you, write me your motivational letter. And what you're going to put in the letter is that, Lord, I can't stop but loving you. I can't, I can't stop but loving you. Why do you love this girl? Why do you love this boy? Why do you love me? What, why? What's the reason? Oh God Almighty, Christ love. Fuels. If it's the love of man, it will stop. If it's the love of woman, it will, it will run dry. I'm telling you, if the love of God, it will never fail. It will never fail. He said, this means all died with him. Right now. Philippians 1.21, as we just tidy things up here. Philippians 1.21. Look at what it says. Philippians 1.21. Philippians 1.21. Paul was speaking. For me to live is Christ. And to die is gain. This is a lover talking. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Love makes an addicted lover indestructible. We've already explained that. I think we need to stop here. And next week I want to look about, I want us to look at the proof of love. 
I'm not sure maybe we're going to have time to look at um, the reward of love. And that's very important too. But there's no way you can be loving in love that God will not reward you. The reward is coming. It's coming. It's coming. That's God's remark for me for this year and onward. He said, be saying, I'm coming. My reward is with me. It's coming. Jesus is coming soon. His love is coming. His grace is coming. His reward is coming. His wealth is coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. That's it. That's the word of the Lord to me. He spoke to me. He spoke to me. He said, be saying it. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Rhoda is not crazy. Rhoda is not mad. They say, Rhoda, thou art mad. They say, no, Rhoda is not mad. Peter is at the door. He's coming. Wealth is coming. Joy is coming. Don't fail. Don't faint. Galatians 6, 9. Don't fail. To give every man. You want to give your life to Jesus right now. Have you fainted? Are you weary? Pray this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. In total surrender of my life. Forgive me my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Have mercy on me. Take the heart of stone, Ezekiel 36, out of my heart. Give me a heart of flesh. Put your love in me. Help me to love you. I can only love you if you give me your love, the spirit of love. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. But the spirit of power, the spirit of love, and the spirit of a sound mind. I receive your spirit today. I will never remain the same again in Jesus' name. Call that number. WhatsApp. Share your testimony with us. Your life has changed today. Don't forget for, all, all, for the rest of us, a new heart. Also will I give you. What is the sign of a heart? How do you draw a heart? Can you give me the picture? Somebody has forgotten. It's a love sign. Heart. Love. When you want to say somebody you love, emoji, you send a picture of a heart, a new heart. It's a heart of love. That's it. There you go. That's love for you. That's what God wants to give you and I. A new heart will I give you. Let's look at the scripture. I will take the heart of stone and, I will, and a new spirit, the spirit to love God, will I put within you to keep his commandments. Evidence of love. John chapter 14, evidence. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. And I will give you. Thank you. That is what Jesus is all about. The Bible is all about love. The Bible, crucifixion, death. That's why we celebrated it last week. The death and the burial of Jesus Christ. That's what love is all about. A heart of flesh. I'll close with this. John 14, 21. La drovele, pranonima, pletostiva, la remenos. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them. He it is that loveth me. And he that loves me shall be loved of my father. So we can say, a man greatly beloved. We can say, the disciple that Jesus loves. Did you catch it? And I will love them. Then we can say 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 8. Anyone that loves God, God knows them. And what will happen? I will manifest. Like I was telling you, we are praying on Zoom. Huh? We are having a meeting with uh, some pastors and group on Zoom. In Asia, an evil spirit came out like a snake out of somebody's mouth, like a tongue, long. And he was delivered. The mother was there. That's manifestation. That you don't have to be there. The mother would say, look at the tongue. Look at the tongue. It's like a snake. Look at the tongue. May Jesus, in my life, my wife, my children, your life, manifest himself greatly this week. In Jesus. Give me power. Amen. The Holy Ghost me not tired. Yeah. Make me stand tall like a tower. Give me the full armor, the attire. Yeah. Do not miss, make me go higher. Yeah. And if you're looking for me, I'll be where my Lord be. Cause you give me that. Do not miss. Do not miss. Do, 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 do not miss. The Holy Ghost give me. Do not miss. Do, 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 do.